Happy Friday. I am just setting up for my class that starts in about one hour. And um, I came across a, a little trick that I wanted to show you. So yeah, I guess it's tomorrow's tips. Let's see if I can get you into the viewing area here. As always, my dollar store hookup is uh, is not foolproof. Let's see if I can get it. All right, let's let's uh, just go over here. All right, plate of chocolates. Mm. All right, uh, I'm setting up my stamparatus for this adorable little card. I wanted to make sure that um, that this image stamps clearly, and we're using the berry burst, which being one of the pinks, uh, pinks and reds and purples, they can be um, quite unforgiving. With, uh, with respect to getting ink all over your fingers and, um, and so on. So I set up my Stamparatus and I thought, you know, if we're gonna be inking this directly on um, onto the stamp pad, or onto the uh, stamp with the big ink pad, we are gonna get pink everywhere. And it just, it, once you get it on your fingers, you're hooped. So instead of doing that, I was, um, I didn't have an ink spot, so I made my own. Can you see this? So these are, there's white ones that we sell in the catalog, and I simply grabbed my re-inker, and I saturated it. So now I have a Berry Burst re-inker. Now, they're small, and they're great um, for applying to the ink, but they can be a little bit tricky to handle. Um, so here is a trick that I learned from one of my friends. Um, Diane, this one's thanks to you. So I grabbed my finger dot one of my finger daubers, which look like this, right? You can buy the you buy them blank, and you put them on your finger, and you can dab 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 dab. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna yank this part off. So this is just stuck on with some sort of double sided tape. Can you see that double sided tape? So we just pull that off, and then we just have this hollow tube. All right, we go to the dollar store. I have a tray of these for various reasons. And uh, these are the Velcro sticky back Velcro dots. And look at this, can you see that? This fits exactly in the hole. I wonder if it matters, you know what, I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna put the, okay, this is the hook. I'm gonna put it right on the bottom of my um, newly made ink spot. And then I'm gonna take the fuzzy end, and they're sticky. I'm hoping this is in the view. And I'm gonna put that right on here. Okay, here's where the magic happens. So you wanna use this on your ink pad. Take off the lid. Let's hope this holds. Diane assures me that it was a good, a good idea. So now you've got this. Can we see it? Yes, we can. Ah, look at that. Oh, that's really juicy, Tamara. All right, so we're gonna close the door. We're not gonna to touch anything. When I say anything, I mean we're not gonna to touch the ink because it is evil. Lift the door, oh, okay. You know what? That's really crazy saturated. So I'm not going to use the ink pad or the ink spot. Um, do you remember one of my other Tamara's tips? Hold that thought, don't go away. Don't go away, stay there. Wait, stay there. Okay, I'm back. All right, so this is a fabulous idea. Don't lose sight of this idea for other projects, but this is too saturated for this kind of an image. You can see it gloops into the letters. So I'm actually going to use my finger dauber. So hang on. Wow, look at me going on the fly here. This is, uh, this is not what I had planned to do, but I'm glad I checked it out before my class. So I'm gonna clean this off. No, I'm not gonna use a baby wipe, stop that. Okay, oh, sorry, just crashed into the lamp there, as you do. Okay, this is coming out in the June, isn't that lovely? This is coming out in the June catalog, some sort of microfiber, something or other. This is the cat's pajamas. It cleans up your, st oh, I'm gonna save a fortune on baby wipes, I really am. Okay, so let's turn this bad boy over. Let's try this again. But this time, so this was on one of my previous Tamara's tips. So if you don't watch my tips, you're missing out, man, because I teach you all kinds of great things. So here's my Berry Burst. See, look, it's labeled, because that's who I am, Berry Burst. So I can now ink this up, and I'm going to dab it 
This is how you keep from getting those words saturated with ink. And this is also the beauty of the Stamparatus is that you can go back, if, you don't have to go too crazy with lots of ink so I can close the door. That's not lined up. Hang on, it's over one too many. Arch. Still using my broken magnets, you guys. They still work. I got a second Stamparatus though, so now I've got two whole new magnets. I'm gonna close the door like that. I know, you're excited, right? Ah, look at that, okay? So now there's no glooping in the words. Can I zoom in on that? You don't need to, you can see that. Oh, but I missed the B. <gasps> That's okay. Here's our Stamparatus magic. Close the door. Let's move that. Okay. Magnet, step the B. Ta-da! Like that. Okay, so we learned all kinds of things today. When you're using solid images with, um, what's that called? Negative image for the words. Don't use full ink pads or ink spots because it just gloops as seen on exhibit A. Right? Can we see that without getting my eyeball in there? Right? That's horrible. And then, um, yeah, then we can use our finger dauber to ink it and do it properly. Ooh. However, when we do use our ink spot on future projects, we've got our little instant holder. Take up the lid and then you can use it this way. That's it. I got to go finish um, setting up. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the weather.